Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can add your custom JavaScript in your custom WordPress plugin. Currently you can see that I have created a simple WordPress page added a short code there and here I'm accessing that short code and this is my WordPress plugin that exists in my plugins folder named FineGap. Inside my plugin, I have a file named FineGap.php and uh, because I have write these comments here, it means that this is the main file of my WordPress plugin. So what I'm going to do, so now for example, I want to access JavaScript inside my this shortcode. So what I'm going to do, we have to call an action hook here, name WP and Q scripts and the second parameter would be a callback function like FGP and QJS. You can use any name for this function. Make sure function name should be unique. Here I will create that function and inside this function we are going to add our Ajax file. So you have to call a WordPress built-in function which is NQ script. The first parameter would be my unique identifier. So later you can, if you want to dequeue the script, you can use this identifier or if you want to refer this script, you can also use this unique identifier for this JavaScript file. The second parameter would be your file path. So let's assume my WordPress file exists in the main plugin directory. So what I'm going to do, I will type here plugins URL and here I will type forward slash my custom js dot my custom dot js. So let's suppose this is my file name. Let me create here this file like mycustom.js. Here I will console.log like fine gap. JavaScript is working. And here I will uh, add semicolon. And next type here comma and add this magic soup constant, which is PHP constant. And here, so basically this is adding the paths to my JavaScript file. And next, I will type here array jQuery. Let's suppose you want to access jQuery in your this JavaScript file. So you have to pass this parameter as well. And next would be your plugin version. This is optional, but this is very important for cache busting. And the last is true. True means we are adding this uh, to the footer of our custom plugin. And if you will type here false, it means that you are adding this script to the head section of your WordPress page. So that's it. Let me type here semicolon and now I will refresh my page. Okay, there is an error. We have to add semicolon here as well. I will refresh, inspect, console and you can see that fine gap JavaScript is working. So friends, that's how we can add custom JavaScript in your custom WordPress plugin. Hit the like button if video was helpful. And finally, thanks for watching.